I'm here, of course, with Jimmy Wong, half of the Wong brothers. Let's talk about Video Game High School Season 2. What can we expect from the second season? Uh, everything's bigger, not size-wise specifically, but uh, we have bigger sets. We were able to build stuff on the soundstage. We have a lot more action on location. We've got more practical explosions, and so the story also takes on sort of that bigger level. The universe is a little bigger. You get to see other schools. You get a more clear image of what's happening in the world. This is going to be a weird year, Brian. So you're working with a lot of returning cast members, some new faces in the mix. Everyone is probably going to trust you a little bit more this time around when you talk about your vision to them. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Matt and I do our best this season to break that trust by going crazier. There's some fun, really weird episodes. Because of the second season, we've already established the universe of Indian High School in the first season. So second season gives us the opportunity to expand that out and have a a lot more fun with the characters and the character arcs. My man right there, laying it down, large and in charge. Now, in addition to raising the bar for special effects in season two, this is also a chance for you guys to give some of these characters a little more emotional depth. Yeah. The first thing we knew that we wanted to do is season one was more or less a movie. You know, it was split up into episodes, but it was a classic, you know, sports story. It was a hero's tale. And we knew that if we were going to do a second season, it was going to be more of like a TV show. And you could do episodes that have their own stories, so every character could have their own story. So, you know, one episode is primarily Ted's story. He has this whole Mario Kart sequence, and he's fighting this bully. Tell me, how did your character change and grow in the second season? Um, he actually kind of goes through a bit of an existential crisis in the second season, and she just gets more of a story, more of a background. Johanna now tell me, what happens to your character in the new season? The biggest thing that happens to her, I think, is her mother shows up to be the coach of the FPS team and drama, 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 and then relationship stuff with Brian. It's a lot deeper of a storyline for her. I'm here with Josh Blaylock. So what happens in the new season to your character? So we start out, we just took down the law. Mm -hmm. And so the law has like this huge scandal thing going on. We basically are told by our coach that we're not important because we're not varsity. Mm -hmm. So it's about like the underdog story again, but like the whole team coming together.